Many believe that the greatest single thing to come out of the Columbian Exposition was not Cracker Jack or the Ferris wheel, but that it finally settled the AC versus DC battle of the currents once and for all. The World's Fair helped Westinghouse win one of the most important contracts in history. The hope of harnessing the tremendous power of Niagara Falls had been a dream of scientists and engineers for decades. Top minds like Lord Kelvin and Thomas Edison were involved, but by the fall of 1893, the project remained stuck in the mud, suffering from the bitter controversy over whether alternating current or direct current should be used. It was the impressive display of AC power at the World's Fair that gave Westinghouse just the edge he needed, and even skeptics like Lord Kelvin, who was once on the DC side, gave in. People came into the fair remembering the name Edison. They came away thinking Westinghouse. It gave the publicity that George Westinghouse needed to really put in position his ultimate goal, which is also Tesla's ultimate goal from childhood, to uh, put the power system into Niagara Falls. Now all the power could be generated in one spot and transmitted many miles away with the help of transformers. On October 24, 1893, Westinghouse Electric was awarded the contract for three 5,000 horsepower alternating current generators for Niagara Falls. The first hydroelectric generator unit was tested on April 16, 1895. A year later, three seconds after midnight on November 16, 1896, Buffalo, New York was receiving power from the mighty Niagara cataract for the first time. The battle of the currents had been won by Westinghouse. It was such an event and Tesla was there and spoke and then he spoke at length. I understand from some newspaper comments, he spoke at excessive length. <laughs> and pieces of the original power line from the 1895 test were saved to honor the occasion. The Westinghouse Electric Company finally started seeing returns on their enormous investments into alternating current and the polyphase system. Orders began to flood in. The original Niagara Falls generators were joined by the addition of seven similar units a few years later. Today, newer plants and technology continue to harness the hydroelectric power of Niagara Falls. Later in life, Nikola Tesla was quoted as saying, the only man in the world that could have pulled off alternating current was George Westinghouse, for he was the only man that would come up against Thomas Edison.